What is up, everybody? It's your man, Zay Mr. Muscles, and I'm back again with some more good exercises for you. As always, I want to start off by saying I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate all my subscribers, all my supporters, everybody that's showing me love. Uh, you know, as always, if you haven't already uh, subscribed to this channel, can you please just subscribe right now? Uh, make sure you like this video. Also, share it. As I mentioned, if you got Facebook, follow my page, Zaycation. I uh, got capital Z, capital A, correction, capital C, cap I mean Z, capital C, when you spell it now, Zaycation on Facebook, okay? If you got IG, make sure you uh, search Zay Mr. Muscles, no spaces, no dots, all one word, Zay Mr. Muscles. Okay, uh, as I mentioned already, got some really good exercises for you today. We're going to target these arms, mainly the outside arm, tricep, but we're going to target these arms, get them toned up so you can... Uh, what those shirts you like to wear show your arms uh show your arms off you know show that progress get these arms toned up get some definition and you'll be looking right in no time all right so without further ado uh you're gonna need a bench for this exercise specifically uh sometimes you can make it work with a chair really depends on uh, what you have if you're in a the gym then you got you know a plethora of benches you can use i'm gonna also use dumbbell with uh two of the workouts so if you have a dumbbell, great. If not, you can use something of weight that you're able to uh, hold in your hand while you are uh, conducting these workouts, all right? So I'm gonna use this bench to show you. Uh, let me get this bench ready. I'm gonna aim you low. All right, so once you uh, land down on this bench, okay? What I want you to do, obviously you gotta control this weight, slow and steady, keep everything controlled. Make sure you still keep your core tight, always keep your core tight. What I want you to do when you're in this position, not this position right now, but once I lay down, uh, I want you to use the opposite hand, whichever hand you do not start with first, put that hand to hold on to your body basically, just for that stability and to keep that arm out the way while you're conducting the workout. So uh, I'm gonna demonstrate it. We're lightweight because you won't be able to go too, too heavy, but give enough uh, weight for you to work with, all right? Don't cheat yourself. Make sure you push, you push, you push. Of course, make sure you drink your water before anything, proper uh, stretching so you won't pull any muscles, uh, have any, you know, muscle spasm, muscle locking up. Make sure you're nice and limber before doing these workouts. I'm gonna demonstrate them in multiple different angles just so you can see uh, and get the, the, the way it's supposed to be done, all right? I'm gonna lay back for the first and then next I'm gonna turn around facing the opposite way so you can see exactly how my arm is uh, bending from the uh, different angle. So what you're gonna do is lay back with whichever weight you're gonna use. Uh, let me get some lay back with whichever weight you're gonna use. I'm gonna start with my left hand. So like I said, with the opposite hand, grab a hold of your body. You gotta put this dumbbell, not facing this way, but facing uh, horizontal, and then what you gotta do is you gotta bend your your elbow till it's directly uh, parallel to your body. Then back up. That's one. Back up. Two. Back up. Three. Back up. Four. Make sure you stand over your chest. Do not bring it over your face, cause I don't want you to hurt yourself. All right. So again, you keep it up. You go straight down. If you want it to touch, you can. And then bring it right back up. Make sure you control the weight. We demonstrate, obviously, opposite hand. Grab the body. Down, up, one. Down, two. Down, three. When you come up, I want you to flex that tricep. Flex it and try to go back as far as you can before you come back this way. All right, now I'm gonna demonstrate it. Face another direction. It's pretty self-explanatory. Again, I'm gonna start with my right hand this time. Left across the body. Gonna go down, up, flex. Down, up, flex. I'm gonna switch. Make sure you bring it down before you switch. Don't switch in the air. So wrist falling on your face. One, two, three, 
All right. That's the first exercise. Like I mentioned, if you do those, do the right amount of weight, you'll feel it in no time. You feel that tricep tightening up and you can get that tricep getting that little teardrop effect, all right? Uh, again, for this, uh, oh, so I won't forget, make sure you do a good 10 to 15 reps in between each set, okay? You could do a good eight, eight to 10 sets, but again, like as I mentioned, a good 15 reps for each set. With this next exercise, what I want you to do, uh, this one I want you to get obviously more weight than you would have because that single arm, this is gonna be a double arm workout, okay? So I need you to get some, some weight that's gonna make you work. Nothing too, too heavy. If you're not used to this exercise, I don't want you to hurt yourself. And I don't want you to hurt your shoulders. I'm gonna demonstrate this with a decent size dumbbell, something that's gonna make you work, give you a little uh, resistance. What you're gonna do is mount whatever uh, bench that you have. You're gonna mount that bench, bench at a side angle, all right? Not straight like I was before but at this angle. What you're gonna do is, I already had a weight in your hand, have it on your lap while you go down, just control it. Get down to where your shoulder blades is on the bench, okay? Feet is planted on the floor, as you can see. You gotta hold it with two hands and you gotta bring it above your face. Once you begin, you gotta go down. Once you're going down, make sure you're holding it as such Hands are gripping this uh, top part of the dumbbell. You're gonna go down as far as you can, back up over your chest, one. Down, back up, two. Down, back up, three. Down, back up, four. Obviously, do not try to touch the ground. Don't hurt your shoulders. Just go full back, uh, far enough back to where you feel that pull in your shoulders and in your uh, lats. You're gonna feel that pull once you feel like, all right, that is your right spot. Then you come back up. Everybody's gonna have a different breaking point because everybody's different and everybody's uh, got a different level of flexibility, all right? So just because one person may go a little further than you, doesn't mean nothing. Go to your limit and then back up your limit, back up. Again, with those, you can do a good 10, 10 to 12 sets, 10 to 12 reps, correction, with a good, uh, like I say, six to eight sets. Make sure you're getting a good workout, especially if you implement it with the other workout. You're gonna be feeling it already. Your triceps arms gonna be a little tired. So, but regardless of the matter, push yourself. Like I say, you don't have to go get the big weight right off the rip. You know, you just take your time, gradually increase. Uh, again, like I say, that workout works wonders and builds a lot. That actually uh, work more than one component, okay? Because you get a little bit of lat uh, workout within that, some of that back uh, shoulder, as well as the back of the arm, the tricep and everything else. So again, it's a really good workout. Again, you got my approval on those workouts. Uh, they work wonders. And like I say, I approve of them. As you can tell, they make a difference. Now this last uh, workout, again, is gonna target this back area of the arms. You may be familiar with this workout already. Um, you can do this workout at different heights, no matter any sort of uh, incline, curve. Like I say, I prefer a height just as much as a bench, but again, you can do this at any, any level of height. It's gonna be the same, you gotta mount the bench. You gotta mount the bench at a side angle. Once you do that, keep your feet straight, okay? You can keep them straight side by side, or you can cross your feet at the ankles. Me personally, I prefer crossing feet at the ankles. It's just got a little better feel to it for me, uh, personally. But once you get there, make sure you keep your hands, grip the bottom. Don't do this, because I don't want you to slip off, you know, hurt your body or whatnot but keep, grip the bottom of the seat. You're gonna keep your feet stretched out, cross them at the ankle. Once you do that, you gotta be in that good position that's comfortable for you. You're gonna go down as low, again, as low as your limit allows you. Low, I mean, as low as your body allows you, whatever's your limit, you come right back up. Make sure you extend when you come up, all the way up. Down, 
all the way up. Down, all the way up. It's not a race. You don't have to go all fast. And we, as you see, when you go fast, you half in it, just like some people do with push-ups. Stretch that arm out. Stretch that arm out. Stretch that arm out. All right. Again, with those, you can also you can always increase that number higher because that's just straight body weight. You can do a good uh, set of twenty. You know, keep doing sets of twenty if you can go that high. If not, at least try to get to 15. But like I say, you gotta build your body, you gotta build yourself. If you're not at that level currently, you will get there. So start what's comfortable for you. If you gotta do tens, do sets of tens till, you know, one week, next week, increase, do 15. Next week, do 20. It's all about pushing, it's all about uh, shocking those muscles, letting those muscles know that, no, now we're not gonna give up at 10. Your body start getting used to the number you usually give up to, give up on. So once you get close, once you get that seven, then your body wanna start giving up. Then it's eight, nine, you know, you, you're struggling at that point. 10, that's not what you wanna do. So you gotta push it, do that extra one. Push it, do that extra two. Make that body like, you know, oh snap. We ain't never go this far. <laughs> so it's gonna shock it and it's gonna help reform, help build that muscle even stronger, even bigger, because now, like I say, you're shocking it. You're not giving it what it's used to. So again, we're gonna just go over what we did. Uh, first exercise, like I say, have it controlled. Make sure you keep your core tight. You, basically, you keep your core tight on every all of the workouts I showed you. That is a key component, keeping that core tight. Breathe on every workout. As you're coming down and coming back up, you breathe, you exhale coming up to get that weight up, all right? Breathe in, breathe out. Same on the other exercise. When you're coming back, you breathe to put it back to the starting position. Inhale, exhale, all right? And then on the uh, last one, obviously you're gonna exhale when you're coming up. You breathe in, exhale coming up. So again, like I say, these are key factors to working out, key factors to these different exercises to keep your body from, like I say, from basically keep you from hurting yourself. So make sure you're doing the necessary things to keep your body in a uh, top shape, all right? Make sure you're drinking water, make sure you're stretching, especially when you're doing any uh, tricep workouts, any, anything of that nature, because they got a tendency of, you know, catching them little spasms and locking up, especially if it's not used to that workout. So make sure you're drinking that water. Let me get up. So again, man, I appreciate y'all. I really hope, uh, I see I see a, a lot of y'all, you know, progression. Y'all be hitting me up to let me know, uh, you know, those specific things that y'all been working on that's been doing great. And I love it, I love it, I love it. I like to see it. Continue to hit me up, man. Y'all can do it. Get that motivation, man. It's time to push, time to push. You should do this daily. Do your workouts daily. It don't matter if it's 30 minutes, if it's an hour, two hours, what have you. Whatever you got time for, get something in. I don't care if you can fit a quick little, like I say, 20 minute workout, do something. Don't just sit there, you know, sit on the couch, get your butt up, let's get it. It don't matter if it's a jog, a walk, a run, you know what I mean, up and down the street, do a couple of laps up and down the street, just get your body active, okay? Get that body active, run in place, jumping jacks, whatever. Just keep that body right, get that body getting used to, you know, you could even do breathing exercises, just get your body active, make sure you're active. So then once you can start, or once you, you know, do start uh, working out, everything goes smooth, your body get used to being active, so it's not a complete total shock. It'll just be a shock with certain exercises that you do. So again, man, if you haven't already, hit subscribe right now. I'll give you a couple seconds. <laughs> All right, man, hit, hit that subscribe button, hit like, uh, share this video, please. Share this video with everybody, males, females, teenagers that's getting into working out, playing sports, uh, family, friends, coworkers, everybody. Just, you know, <laughs> share it, go through the contact list. <laughs> but share this video. Like I say, I'm gonna say it one more time, please subscribe. If you got Facebook, follow my page, Zaycation. If you got IG, Zay Mr. Muscles, all one word, no spaces, no dots. Uh, like I say, man, I just can't express how much, how much this means to me, how much, you know, I'm able to help y'all. It's uh, it's great. 
So again, man, it's your man Zay, Mr. Muscles. Hit subscribe one more time, and I'm out.